Welcome everybody to a new episode of Super Smash Bros. Ultimate! Last time, we cleared Pac-Man, and we got an engineer. And we are doing good! Today, we're coming back again into Game Some More Classic Mode. Uh, and we're gonna clear out the last one of the characters, the original characters, from uh, Super Smash Bros. for 3DS and Wii U which is Bowser Jr. You can choose any of the Koopalings here. Uh, it's Bowser, Larry, Ro, uh, Roy, Wendy, Iggy, Morton, Lemmy, Ludwig, and whatnot. It's the Bowser Jr.'s route. I'm gonna do it like that. And from that point on, we only have the DLC to worry about, which is actually only three, four new characters uh, on Smash 4, Wii U, and 3DS. So, hey, we're almost done with that. We're almost done with the fourth game in the series and about to get into the fifth game. And we've been doing DLC, like, diligently as it comes out, so... Man, we're not far off! We're not far from the end. We are searching for Mama Peach. And I don't know if that means... Okay, you're dead. That was perfect. <laughs> I don't know if that means uh, that we are fighting all of the princesses until we reach Peach. And then fight Giga Bowser for her or something like that? Apparently not. Lucina, she's not a well. Technically, she she is actually a princess. Crom is king, and uh, Lucina is Crom's daughter. So that means that Lucina and uh, is a princess. Wow, another perfect. That's two perfects in a row. Man, oh man. Bowser Jr. is not a bad character in whatsoever. He has gotten a few buffs over the over the months. Uh, but, wow. <laughs> Daisy and Luigi. Ready? Go. Oh. Okay, goodbye to the perfect streak. Well, you, you're getting close to Mama Peach here, Bowser Jr. Okay, move away. Okay, we're already at 100, which is something I do not enjoy. <laughs> Would you look at that hit? I didn't even hit that one! Cool enough! <laughs> cool enough! Alright, 6.7. Of course, that wasn't a great play because, or nice play, because, well, you know. This is another blonde princess, but not Peach. Come on, Junior. You're better than that. Okay. How would you like to be away from here? Supposed as much. It's a little baby kid with an apron. We're actually doing quite well, I don't know how, but oh no. A horde battle. These are the killers. Oh, every one of these me's has a princess costume. Okay, let me let me just be clear with you guys. I hate horde battles. Ever since Smash 4, I dislike them with a passion. I am already, I was already at a hundred, pretty much. Take that. Magic percent. Okay. You immediately knocked me out of my magic percent. Yeah, goodbye to you. How about I still get the bat? I, I throw it out. Yeah, do that, because that actually kills. Bowser Jr.'s jab kills. For some odd reason it does. Nope. Um, Onira, you're gonna be my friend. There we go! He's happy, look at him! He killed so many fake Mama Peaches. 8.1. Hopefully we can get to 9.9. .9. 
So here we are. Mama Peach was with Mario. Fitting for it to be Mario Sunshine too. Okay. Out with it. Okay, cool. Mario, please stop that. Ah, crap. Lost the perfect with that. Okay. How about I make a Koopa of Mama Peach? You're gonna enjoy this. You're just gonna enjoy the crap out of this. Okay. Cool dodge. Cool dodge. I'll give you that, Mario. Cool dodge. But hey. That was so close. Didn't time it correctly. Oh gosh, that was Stitch Face! Goodbye to Peach. You got nothing to defend anymore, Mario. Just give up. Tech Chase! <laughs> Okay, there we go. That wasn't great either, but hey, we got 8.7. If we do very, very good on the last one, we might actually get 9.1. But we have to do very, very, very good. I don't believe in myself in the slightest, so if you guys could believe in me, then I would believe in you, in the you that believes in me. That would mean the world. Also, tongue attack, I didn't even use that. Could've, would've been cool to actually use it against Mario and Peach. At any rate, Whoop, down we come, down we come, down, down, down we go. Okay. As long as we completely destroy everything else, I don't think there's going to be a problem. Ah, I hit my head. Hit my head. Ah, come on. Use the smashes. Use the smashes. Use your run button too! Okay. And we're out here. Boop. No harm done. All the points were got. 146,000. Uh, 146, which gets us over half a million. Nicely and loosely. Now we got Master and Crazy Hand. These couldn't have been the ones hiding Mama Peach. Where uh, would they? At any rate. Bam. Oh, nope. Time to say goodbye to that. What I did was extremely risky. I, I could have actually died. Oh no. Phone's ringing, phone's ringing. I, oh gosh. Wait guys. Oh my gosh. I really, really hate phone companies. Okay, I'm about to. I could have died right there. Yeah, you traded places. Okay. Uh, this might go stale, but I really don't care much. No, stop. Okay, cool. I avoided a hit. <laughs> cool. Cool, as long as we get the smashes, as long as we get the smashes. Okay, and say goodbye, because that one is dead. Grab a Mecha Koopa. Explode it. I want to go out with Grace. With the hammer hit. There we go, Bowser Jr. Didn't do badly at all. 64%. I think... That's a nice play. I would think that it is a nice play. Fighting against a boss and getting less than 70%? Still not enough for 9.9 .9 apparently, but okay! <laughs> we didn't die whatsoever, that's just a little bit annoying. But hey, we got it. At this point, might as well talk about Bowser Jr. and the, Co and the Koopa Lings. The, the situation is a little bit of an interesting one, to say the least. Uh, originally, Bowser was supposed to have seven kids, uh, each one for each of the seven worlds in Super Mario World before, you know, World 8, where Bowser was. 
Um, or one for each of the worlds in Super Mario Bros. 3 before getting to Bowser World. Yeah, they debuted in Super, Ma uh, Super Mario Bros. 3, the Koopalings. Uh, Lammy, <laughs> Lammy, Lemmy, Larry, um, Iggy, Morton, Roy, Ludwig, and Wendy. I think it's all of them. They were gone after a long while, like, they were gone for a long while after Super Mario World, and they've made their first returning appearance in New Super Mario Bros. Wii. And from then on, they've been a constant presence in the Mario Kart and Super Mario Bros. universes. They have kind of saturated their own market, to be 100% honest. Bowser Jr., on the, other, on the other hand, debuted in Super Mario Sunshine and was the main antagonist of the game. Even though Bowser was the final boss, um, yeah, Bowser Jr. was the main antagonist throughout the entire game. That, in and of itself, like, he himself proved to be way too smart. Like, he actually cooked up a plan to get Mario arrested and uh, be able to kidnap Peach without any inconveniences. He's smarter than Bowser. He just isn't as strong. He hasn't really developed all the skill that he needs in order to beat Mario. And that just makes him way more interesting. Until... Super Mario Galaxy made him to be a baby boy, uh, like a daddy's boy. Daddy's baby. And he's all like, hey, I want my daddy to do this to you. Or, hey, I'm angry. I'm gonna have my daddy push you over. And, like, he never did any of the fighting anymore. Like, the point of him, be like, the point that made him so interesting at the very beginning is was that... He was actively fighting you and antagonizing you, um, making people believe that you were the, the evildoer. And that was smart, but then he just never does any more of the fighting. The only other one time that he did that and he was kind of like the main protagonist or the main antagonist of the game was Super New Super Mario Bros. The first one. He didn't even appear for the Wii one. That, that's just the thing. Um, I, I don't know, Bowser Jr. is... Very, very, a very good character. I like him a lot, and I think he has way more room for growth and for people to actually use them in roles that are that fit him properly and correctly. Um, and I don't think they've been doing that too well, to be 100% honest. But hey, there we go. That's Bowser Jr. We got Mega Charizard X, Nash once again because we were missing a Nash. Uh, we used him to summon Guile. And we got a lot of other items. I don't think we surpassed Yoshi anyways in terms of score. We did very good, but not close to Yoshi there. But that's it. That's it. We cleared We cleared all of the um, original characters from the roster of Wii U and 3DS. We are going to start at the DLC next. Hopefully soon. Um, probably, probably right after Terry comes out, because... To be 100% honest, I think that Terry will come out before I finish editing this video, so <laughs> I'm gonna do my best, and I'm actually going to do my best. But today, we're coming back here in the World of Light, and we're gonna go inside of the next dungeon cave with a boss, because this is the last boss that we have to fight in order to clear, uh, or to fight Galim. We still have more spirits to get here, don't get me wrong, but getting this should completely finish off the first part of um, not the first part, but this should finish off like the mandatory part of World of Light. So Bruntoport, Bruntoport against, okay, Brontos are the basic enemy from Kirby, we should be doing fine against the pit. Favorite side specials, oh no, oh no, forget what I said, the spam. They're gonna spam the move that I hate. The worst part about it is they have super armor on it. Or maybe it's not that bad. Oh, look at that super armor being left. Okay. Mr. Dude, you did a thing. Wh why? Why? How? Why and how? Bam, you're dead. Stay down there, and you're done. You are done. Thank you very much. 
Bronze Apart goes and wins, and we leveled up a Geodude quite a bit. Almost enough for a Golem. You know, because Golem evolves by trading, and Grappler is not very high level evolution. Now we got Tricky. Uh, why are there so many low level spirits in here? That is disturbing to me. Quite a bit disturbing to me. Why? At any rate, Big Yoshi stands in for Dinosaur from the Star Fox series. Oh! Oh! Okay, I thought he was gonna come down. But no, apparently not. Ah, now he did. Hey, do you like lasers? Huh. Come on, Yosh. I really, I really just want you dead. Come on. <laughs> Wrong way to to dodge. Wrong way to dodge. So that's tricky. Really not that tricky. I just chose a spirit that was very under leveled. <laughs> Against a very under leveled spirit. Yeah, that was the thing that just happened. So off goes the Rathalos. We can come up here, fight the Moly. You know, holy Moly from Kirby. It's a giant Pikachu. There's a lot of Pikachus here, why? Last episode, the last two fights were Pikachus too. Well, at the very least, it's a very low level spirit, so I'm not concerned. Okay, Mr. Pikachu man, I really don't want you with that. you're dead. <laughs> that was a perfect match. How did I not get hit throughout all that? Not 100% sure, but sure. All right, we got that one. If we come all the way over here, we can fight Melia from Xenoblade. Poison damage reduced, not nullified, reduced. So we still have to hurry up. Floor is poisonous and the enemy's magic attacks have increased power, that's okay. Ready, go. Oh, that's right. I forgot there's, uh, for every character from Xenoblade Chronicles, there's a Shulk accompanying them. Okay. I'm not too fond of you guys. I am not too fond of you guys doing this. Melia is a staff user, I know that. But why Palutena? The most annoying one. Okay, Smash King to bite you in the arse. Okay, cool! Star Rod wins! Manju wins! We win! Boom Boom and Pom Pom win! The mad lad. Alright. <laughs> Am I annoying? I don't know. Do I want to be annoying? Not really. Not always. <laughs> the enemy favors down specials. As, as you can see, I'm just cleaning up here just because I, I really, I really just want this to happen. I want us to finish off uh, this part of the uh, World of Light today. This cave. I still don't know what to call them. I don't know what the official names are because they they're more like portals than actual caves. Okay. You're still gonna be favoring that now, huh? Nope, that's a big nope. Whenever whenever one of you grabs one of that, then that's that's it. I'm done with you. Okay. Big stop. Yes. Big stop for all of you, please, and thank you. I really do not like when Moosh comes over. Stop it, Moosh! Don't like you, Moosh. Mahomushi. We got a guard chump. 
It's a dragon. A dragon versus a bear. Bears can use fairy type moves. I'm speaking about Ursaring and Teddy Urza. This is good. This is good. This is good. Charizard, stay over there. Charizard, stay over there. I don't want you. I don't want you using your fire in the tail to hit the crap out of me. Just stop! Okay. Oh, you did a thing. Up, uh, look. Ow. Take that. You don't deserve to stay here after what you did. Garchomp! Alright, so we've cleared the entirety of the left side, I do believe. Uh, at the very least, that's what I want to believe. Now we come down here. Hello, Rathalos! Oh no, he's going away. Now, the easy, the easy thing to do here, snack got, is to come over from the left, I mean from the right, startle him, or maybe not. Alright, cool. Cool, 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 cool. Uh, let's just get him back that way because I, I I kind of think that the cycle should do should be like this. Okay, there it is. Keep moving away, Rathalos. All right, that's how it is. That's how it is. That is definitely how it is. Now we move over to this side. We got the Rambling Evil Mushroom from the Mother series, or rather from Earthbound. I'm not entirely sure if it appeared in Mother One or you know. Earthbound beginnings, uh, but I don't believe he'd appeared on Mother 3 Or Earthbound 2. I don't I don't really know what it would be called if they ever decide to bring it over uh, to the West Oh Hey, do you want to be eaten? Do you want to be eating alive? Oh Wow, okay, that was a quick transition didn't even like okay it was slow motion kind of and the bulb just completely disappeared I wanted I wanted Ness to get eaten but that's okay I guess Taurus from the Pokemon games this is a good cowboy my cowboy he's no nice so so nice all right here we go bam stop that bam stop that bam stop that ow stop that Yes, stop that. Ha! Ha! <laughs> Spamming that is not gonna help you because I can spam too. Alright, that was good. That was very, very good. How about... Hello, Rathalos. There we go, that's what we had to do. Rathalos is ready to fight, so we can actually go and fight the boss now, but well, I kind of want to clean house. I kind of want to clean up everything here first, so press that button, get a bridge. Move down, move right. It's Zelda from Breath of the Wild. Did you know that Zelda from Breath of the Wild had a, had a lot of people behind her? It's one of the very few Princess Zeldas that actually has a lot of people behind her and the guards looking for her and a, a force of people actually doing something in order to rescue her or help her with her goals okay Daruk you're being ridiculous stop this is Daruk Donkey Kong is Daruk Okay, out goes that. We're only missing Reveille. In other words, Fal Falco. It's not as funny when you're actually playing Smash Brothers and uh, there's Falco and not um, Zelda where there's no Falco, but you're playing, you're looking at Falco. Ah, 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 that was the last one. That was my last Wonder Wing. I misused a couple of them. Okay, stop, stop, stop. Yes! I hit both of them! Wait, what? 
Only one of them? Okay, sure. Go for both, and, um... We'll hope for the best afterwards. Yeah, Link is dead. <laughs> so now we only have we only have to take care of Zelda. Which is more than fine by me. Oh, right, I don't have that. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. No 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 no. Well that was a thing that happened. Okay, we're back, and we're in a better shape than before. Kasui finishes the job. Alright, Zelda from Breath of the Wild is gotten, has been gotten. Didn't even level up with that, so that's cool. But hey, we're doing good, we're doing fine. Uh, got that. And now if we actually, you know, move over here, we got Toon Link. Let's see the skill tree, I think we're still not there whatsoever. We are missing a bunch. That's okay. However, I think it's more fitting. If a Link unlocks a Link. So we're going to switch over to Link. From Breath of the Wild. In order to unlock Link from... Not Wind Waker, apparently? Well, I'm not sure if it's the Wind Waker or if they're counting Toon Link as the one from the newer 3DS games or... I'm not entirely sure, to be 100% honest. Okay, no, please die. Okay. One, one, two, nope. Yes. How about no? Tired of your theater. Ha! Okay. Okay, I thought I was gonna be able to finish you off with that, but no, apparently not. Apparently I suck. However, this this should do it. That attack never never fails. Link is cheap. Like that. So there we go. We defeated that, and in order to finish off properly in the episode, we have to clean house and fight Rathalos. So goodbye to that. And moving up. Against Rambi, we're gonna test out our new Link. You know, there's so many links now that we can just call it a new model, except it's an older model technically, but also technically, no, yes, it is the oldest model, except not? What? I am confused. Is Toon Link also, like, is Link from Link's Awakening also technically Toon Link, or is that Clay Link, or I don't, I can't, my head! The spirits that we have right now make it so that we are kind of like Shield Shulk. Okay, I thought that was gonna be a thing. We do have Super Armor though. Okay. As long as you just die. Thank you and goodbye, Rambi. So that's Toon Link. We've already played Toon Link, and so we go. Adventure, obstacles, and hazards are a thing. But now that we've got all this, we move down, we move up. Say hello to Rathalos, the last fight for today. With poison heals, because we can actually be get poisoned. For some reason, that comes from the Monster Hunter series, just the same as Rathalos. You can actually get poisoned by Rathalos' feet. Move behind him. Yeah. 
Okay. Moving on to the back, I guess. And so it comes one hit, two hits, three hits. Ah, I did get hit. It does deal a ton of damage, which, to be honest, not surprising, but still not cool. Can I just bash your head in? Okay, let me... No, apparently not. Yeah, I'm getting damaged way too badly, way too quickly. Ow! Fire! Oh my gosh. Stop! Yes! No! Yes! Okay, stay on the ground, 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 stay on the ground. Uh, he's going on flying, which is not good. If we get hit by the finishing touch on any of these, I am going to die. Okay, cool. And now, now you can stay grounded a little bit more. I need this to heal. I need to heal myself. 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 Please, please, please. Please, please. Just get hit in the head. That's not what I meant! Yeah, I just had to throw that out. That's the one attack that can poison you. We did not get poisoned. Ah, we did get this, though. We did get stunned. Can we break your tail, though? You can actually chop off a bit of the tail, and that oh, stuns him for a, quite a bit longer. And that's just something that comes from oh, the Monster Hunter series, because you can actually take parts of the monsters out of them, like hit them so hard that they, they get hit by it. Okay, big no-go. No, 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 okay, okay, no, we're dead. Yeah, we're dead. I think we're back to more or less the place we were before. So close, yet so far. Oh, no. Oh, okay, move away, move away from that. I don't care if I get hit over here. Spin attack kill. We got it! We got it! It's all good. It's all good. We got it. <laughs> Tulnik did it. And so we get the Rathalos Spirit from Monster Hunter. We got a lot of these skill spheres. And we're off. Scott Free. Out of here. That's what it is. So Rathalos goes down. One more Guardian. Defeated! And with that, this turns blue, and if you look all the way over there, Galim's shield is gone! It is now open for fighting. Or as I'd like to say, it's open season. Galim doesn't have a shield anymore. And so... There we go. And off we go. <laughs> we, we're done, guys. We're done. We're done for today. Uh, but I did want to get out of here. Um, we've, we've done an amazing amount of progress, especially today. This will bang down that little monolith over there, creating a bridge. Meaning that it is now open for use to warp all the way over there. Uh, we're not gonna completely use this uh, right now. What we're gonna do though is we are going to take the scenic route down here back through Lapras. You know, there's nothing to worry about, no random encounters here. But if you go all the way over here, then move, move up. Uh, rather, I'm just, I'm just gonna go around this. <laughs> I'm just gonna go around the maze, thank you very much. Uh, if you come around the maze, we are now able to use the train, the choo-choo train. We've already unlocked that, we've already done stuff, and we can now use the train. So next time, guys, we're gonna clear out the train, starting off with the Phantom. 
Thank you guys so very much for watching this. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe to the channel if you really like the video. And I'll see you guys next time. <laughs> Fast Final Smash Meter! <sighs> to start with the DLC characters from Smash Bros. 4 and 3DS. And continue cleaning up before facing off Galeem. I will see you guys later. Goodbye!